started this project right from the word go so everything was built to do what we were doing we didn't take over an old building and try and run a restaurant in it and that kind of thing that was incredibly challenging due to the, the sort of mental pressure managing expectation everyone was watching and of course you know the kitchen's open so if things go wrong people are watching and it felt like people were watching for the first month just constantly looking at you and um, that was pretty hard Ever since the beginning of dinner, we've, been, um, we've had it in our minds that we want to open more dinners around the world in different locations. It's really sort of taking dinner, lifting it, putting it somewhere else, um, incorporating some of the almost colonial, if there were any colonial influences uh, in, in food, incorporating those into the menu in a small percentage. We just continually evolve, looking back into history, looking for snippets of information or banquets, flavour combinations sort of frameworks for some dishes as well and then just interpreting those and you know bringing something to the table in this kind of environment so something just really great to eat interesting it's got historical relevance and just hope everyone has a good time if you had to pick a signature dish i guess it's the meat fruit the mandarin meat fruit it's a chicken liver parfait inside a mandarin jelly but we dip the parfait in a mandarin jelly when it's cold and it freezes so that it produces little um, orange like dimples and then we shape it into the, the shape of a mandarin. And of course you have the mandarin jelly on the outside of the parfait, cut into it, spread it on the bread. The most important thing is just the way that we look at stuff. And you look at things with an open mind, very curious. If we don't know something, we will find out. And you will go to experts in different fields to find out something that we don't know. So really inquisitive, um, an endless quest for making things better and really being open-minded and one of our big big things is working with suppliers I mean we don't we, we work with suppliers growers uh, importers uh, when we need to we work really closely on specification we work directly with the farmers on how big we want say like the chicken for example I think you have to have a two-way relationship with the supplier you know maybe 15 years ago it was you would order 100 in and pick 50 and send 50 back it doesn't work like that anymore. So it's very much give and take. We, we invite our suppliers in, we show them what the dishes are, we, we let them taste the dishes, and so they really understand how important it is for the produce coming in through the door is step one. I think everyone has their different style. There's many ways of running a kitchen. Um, this is just our style. Um, it works for us, we like that way of working. And, and, and I want everyone to come here and, and feel like they're learning, they're enjoying it, they're having a good time, they're working in a great team. And you know, when you, when you get those things right, the end result will be as good as it can be.